What's up, everyone? Welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben, and today we'll be dissecting the 2023 Dodge Hornet. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I can continue to bring accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. 2023 is no doubt an exciting year in the car world, and it's always most exciting when a new model enters the playing field. The 2023 Dodge Hornet is poised to compete with the smaller sized SUVs while delivering great looks, fuel economy, and technology. This will be the first plug in hybrid model from Dodge and a key step for them in maintaining pace with their competitors with hybrid options. I think the Hornet will be extremely popular. Today we'll take a look at the trims and details most important to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. All information and photos in today's video come direct from Dodge or from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. The 2023 Dodge Hornet will be available in four different trims, although only two will be available initially, and that will be the GT and RT. The GT Plus and RT Plus are said to be available at a future date. But the GT trim, being the most basic, will start have a starting price of $31,590, which that is a very affordable um, for what this car is. And that RT will be $10,000 higher, starting out at $41,590. But um, for the purpose of what it is, those prices aren't bad at all. Um, the GT is certainly a great option for the family or an individual who just wants, you know, this size of a car but doesn't want a, an arm and a leg to get it. Looking at the engine options here, the GT will come standard with a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, putting out 268 horsepower. It will be paired with a 9-speed automatic transition. Um, the RT will be a 1.3-liter 4-cylinder and 1 electric motor, as this is a hybrid. It will also be turbocharged, putting out 288 horsepower, and that will be paired with a 6-speed automatic transmission. Both these come standard all-wheel drive. The GT is said to be 21 miles per gallon in the city and 29 on the highway but fuel economy numbers are not yet available for the RT. And another fact here, the RT hybrid battery is good for an extra 30 miles on a full charge. And it says that a full charge will take about two and a half hours. So after you get home from your drive, plug it in, uh, two and a half hours later, you're good to go for another 30 miles out of your battery. Here we go, guys, taking a look at what Dodge has branded, the electric muscle car. Uh, it's continuing Dodge's aggressive styling. The Hornet badge as well is yet another brilliant design by Dodge. I think Dodge's emblems are by far the best available. It gives you the feel that you're driving something really cool. Um, you do get performance and styling to compete with the top trims of the rival brands. And you get packages that can also compete very well with those other uh, competitors. Sharp lighting, sporty wheels, and braking performance all elevate this Hornet. The GT comes standard with 17-inch aluminum wheels. The RT offers a power shot which adds 25 horsepower of boost when pulling both paddle shifters. So that's a pretty cool touch if you go for that hybrid option. You get frequency damping suspension to offer superior ride comfort. The sportiest Hornet will have the track pack package and that offers 20 inch sporty wheels, nice four piston Brembo brakes. We all know Brembo is a top dog when it comes to braking and performance. You get a special dual stage valve suspension to give you superior uh, damping. Um, as this is a track pack package, and you'll get nice Alcantara seats. Dodge loves their Alcantara. Um, it's hard to beat that quality when it comes to seats. This is an awesome, sporty, and affordable option for individuals or families who need a smaller SUV. You don't uh, expect to have the rear to have boatloads of room, but totally adequate for what it's supposed to be. Like I mentioned, if you're waiting on the GT Plus or the RT Plus, they're said to be available at a near future date. In the interior and it is quite nice for the money both or all trims i should say once they all come out we'll have a 10.3 inch infotainment screen and a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster so some great side screens for you guys to be able to see your information see what you're doing this will have the latest uh uconnect 5 system which is dodge's uh infotainment system this is the most updated uconnect is said to be a very great system easy to use uh, wireless apple carplay and android auto um, some cool features too is you get rain-sensing wipers. Those are really becoming relevant now in new cars. You get dual climate control on the inside. You can opt in a cold weather package, which offers heated seats, heated steering wheel, and remote start. Um, the seats are themed black with red stitching. Uh, the plus trims, when they come out, will get leather standard. Uh, the plus trims as well will also get a 14-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. Uh, all these trims will have also all the safety features you can think of and desire to keep you and your passengers safe. 
2023 Hornet is no doubt a super cool new small SUV that will be available for you guys. Super affordable. Uh, it's hard to pick the best bang for your buck since two trims aren't out yet. But I have a feeling the GT Plus will be my best bang for your buck. Currently for the GT or the RT, I'm going with the GT and I would opt in some packages. Um, that $10,000 difference doesn't seem worth it to me. Um, but if you can start off at $31,000 and maybe put two or 3000 of packages in, you know, you're getting a pretty sweet car for the money. Um, but to each its own. Um, whatever your desire to have out of this car is up to you. But I think for now, I would go with the GT and option some stuff in to make it look sportier um, or just nicer on the inside with some of those packages. Hopefully this laid out all this information for you in a clear way. Thank you for watching this Best Car Review. Please subscribe if not already. I'll catch you on the next Best Car Review.